explosion! So what I've got in this bottle looks kind of like some tap water from here, kind of greenish whatever, right? But what it really is, is it's, it's a concentrated solution of hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide has formula H2O2, and a lot of people have a bottle of this, a much diluted form of this in their house. You know, you put it on cuts if you get a scrape or something like that, and it fizzes. Okay. So this is about 10 times more concentrated than the stuff you have in your house. And it's, it, it will produce oxygen when it decomposes. In the solution that you have in your house, it does that fairly slowly over a fair period of time. Like a long, it takes a long time to happen. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of things to speed everything up. So we're gonna use concentrated stuff and then we're gonna add a catalyst, right? So catalysts are just things that speed reactions up. There we go. Still not that vigorous compared to what it should be. There we go. See the bottle is actually getting significantly smaller. <laughs> shrinking, right? The heat, of, the heat of this reaction actually shrinks the bottle. You can see the labels falling down on it, right? And that's because the bottle, you know, the label doesn't shrink, but the bottle does. It's like I said, plastics are a big deal in everyday life. Use them all over all different types of plastics, and one of the major types of plastics is called nylon. Okay. And I'm going to make some nylon here. So it's hard to see this, but there's actually two layers here. There's an aqueous layer and an organic layer. And right at the interface, the stuff that's dissolved in the organic solvent and the stuff that's dissolved in the aqueous solvent, the water, right? There's a little layer of plastic. And when I pull that layer of plastic, it forms the nylon right at the interface. When I pull that out, allows me to draw a string. And if you have a big machine, like if you're DuPont or something, you have, a, you have a machine that draws this string out at a constant rate of speed. And then the machine also stretches the material. So the nylon that you buy in the store has been stretched and actually stretching it aligns the, the polymer fibers inside of the material and it makes it stronger. So this balloon is filled with a, a gas that's lighter than air and hydrogen is lighter than air. So, you know, it, it will react with oxygen. Again, it's a matter of speed, right? So if I apply some heat initially, I can make it happen very rapidly. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. So you may want to cover your ears. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. So cover your ears. This balloon is slightly bigger than the other one. What you're going to see here is fairly large fireball. Mm. Trying to get that away from the screen so I don't blow that up. When you vaporize liquids, liquids they produce gases. Okay, and the, the volume of gas that's produced when a liquid completely vaporizes is much larger than the volume of the liquid. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take liquid nitrogen, which has a very low boiling point, right? We're going to put about this much liquid nitrogen in here, and we're going to throw it in this thing of water. It's going to, the water's going to provide heat to vaporize the gas, okay? And when that gas expands, it's going to fill the container. And it's going to keep it producing gas in the container.
container has a fixed volume, right? So we're going to put more and more gas in there in a fixed container. That means the pressure is going to go up and oh, up, yeah. up right? At some point, the pressure produced by the gas is going to exceed the rupture strength of this bottle. Okay? And when that happens, it's going to blow up. Dude, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Look at that.